Selva Murthy is joining us as well, President of the Amity Science, Technology and Innovation Foundation. Uh, Mr. Selva Murthy, look at, look at uh, how charged the atmosphere is at the Satish Dhawan Space Center. What does this do to India's scientific temper? There are a lot of young people who will probably be watching this on their television sets. Uh, when we were young, it was only Doordarshan and the only shots we saw was, you know, a rocket take off or land. That's it. Uh, nothing more than that. Uh, but look at the event it has now become. A and I'm very proud of the fact that it has become such an event because I'm sure it inspires many more young people to join the world of science and space. I totally agree with you. The whole world is looking towards India now at how we are going to launch as well as take the, uh, the, la the whole lander and the rover to the surface of the moon. And the children, particularly, I see the excitement when you showed the whole picture. I was able to see the enthusiasm, excitement, and uh, they're all waiting for the takeoff. I'm sure everything will go well because the ISRO is such a high, highly reliable uh, the system in which right from the beginning, the planning, project uh, planning, execution, and also the follow-up, everything they have done meticulously. So even the Chandrayaan 2 was almost successful, but then over a period of time when it's about to land, we had some glitches and we couldn't. But those things have been tested rigorously and the failure analysis has been also analyzed meticulously and all those have been corrected. Redundancy have been built both in the hardware and software systems and all those which after the analysis, which led to the, uh, the hard landing on the moon has been corrected. It's a historic moment because India is going to join a elite club of uh, maybe the four people. Now, today, it's three. That is USA, Soviet Union, and also the China. But then we will be the fourth country to do the soft landing on the moon. That too in a difficult place, which is the south pole of the lunar surface, which is the most difficult, but it's also an exciting place to go and see the atmosphere and also the terrain and the minerals which are available there, because it has got some unique feature. You will be able to see how the whole planet service evolved, how the solar system evolved. All this will be able to do. That's why there is a reason to land in South Pole of the lunar surface. And there are many, many special reasons for it. One is to also detect, there is a place where the there is almost light for a longer time, illumination. The peaks are illuminated for a very long time. And then you also have places where there is no, no uh, the light falling at all. It's so, so cold. And so you have both the places. And then we are looking at whether astrobiology research will indicate some lives which existed over there. And then what are the mineral resources available there? Mm. There's so many exciting things which can be done. Can we have the all the, the rocks which are there? It's all loaded with water, ice. So can it solve the problem of the water requirement? So there are many, many things to learn from these experiments. So it is just the beginning today, the launch. And I'm very, very confident that 100% it will be okay. successful. Because the okay. testing... Give the me a system... moment here, Mr. Sir, can you give me a moment here? Yeah. Give please. me a moment here.